here in Prague to be able to really lift themselves up. They're a team that could go right the way through and win the championship yet, but oh, they could. They were all. Derek Henny, Baluda Revonton then. Let's get straight in with him. He produced the clear yesterday. He has all the capability of doing it again. This top Irishman based out in the US for much of his season as well. A top man on a good horse, 12-year-old stallion by the great Cornet Obolensky. That's all the credentials you need in here tonight. Boy, do you need them. Right now, he needs everything going for him. Because they'll probably get through if he has a fence down. I don't think he's going to do the way this horse is jumping. Ooh, that was lucky. The 12 falls here tonight doesn't look as if it's going to be good enough. A real drive down there. Oh, the horse is jumping, though, isn't he? He's had his bit of luck. He's had a rub at that plank. Goodness knows how he left that because it's the lightest fence on the track. Oh, and got away with it. Goodness. He's got to set the horse down, hasn't he? Well, it's a bit hit and miss at the moment from the horse. He's a very good horse, but crikey. He's had two of his nine lives gone there. If he was a cat, and he's going to get away with it. A brilliant oh, right oh, there. That's what a round there. Conjuring something out of nothing at times there. <laughs> Absolutely, finishing on a score of four, and actually they were going to third place. Touch slower, the Paris Panthers, but it won't matter. No, I mean, that is a typical Shane's... Derek Henney. Uh, Derek Henney ride. I've got to show you Shane Sweetenham. He comes into the same category, an Irishman that can ride absolutely anything. This horse is wide, this rider, widely regarded as one of the best catch jockeys in the, in the world, can get on anything instantly and get a huge result out.